What's the biggest threat to humankind right now? Aliens? Nuclear war? A climate crisis? Economic downfall? No. The biggest threat to humankind in 2023 is undoubtedly AI super intelligence, and we might be too late to be able to stop it. OpenAI is probably the leading figure in the AI chatbot game right now. Sure, competitors like Google, Microsoft, and even Apple are hot on OpenAI's tail, but no other chatbot has had the success like of ChatGPT. However, recently, the company unveiled something that wasn't exactly exciting. Rather, it was downright terrifying. They recently released a statement that suggests that within the next few years, artificial super intelligence may take over human life as we know it. In this video, we'll analyze OpenAI's statement on artificial super intelligence and break down exactly what it means for the human race. So the statement in question reads as follows. We need scientific and technical breakthroughs to steer and control AI systems much smarter than us. To solve this problem, within four years, we're starting a new team, co-led by Ilya Suskiver and John Like, and dedicating 20% of the computers we secured to date to this effort. We're looking for excellent ML researchers and engineers to join us. So what the hell does this even mean? Well, essentially the company is forming a team to attempt to combat the potential dangers of artificial super intelligence, which is a huge threat in the AI age. The team is attempting to build systems to predict what artificial super intelligence will be capable of and what it will try to do to humankind. Later down in the article, OpenAI states, Super intelligence will be the most impactful technology humanity has ever invented and could help us solve many of the world's most important problems. But the vast power of super intelligence could also be very dangerous and could lead to the disempowerment of humanity or even human extinction. While super intelligence seems far off now, we believe it could arrive this decade. Managing these risks will require, among other things, new institutions for governance and solving the problems of super intelligence alignment. Now, this shows a few things. First of all, we have a lot less time to deal with this than initially thought. The average person who isn't a CEO of an AI company would probably assume that a Terminator-style AI takeover is at least a few centuries away. But apparently, OpenAI is suggesting that by 2030, digital superintelligence could be a real thing. Now, you might be wondering, why should we be afraid of superintelligence in the first place? I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, right? Well, let me explain. Superintelligence is a process in which a computer system becomes so smart that it can outperform a high IQ individual in almost every metric. It can learn new things in a very short space of time, solve complex problems, and simply think at a level that humans can. It's kind of like the supercomputer in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know, the one that could answer the meaning of life. Now, you might be asking, why is it dangerous? I mean, from the looks of things, it doesn't sound very dangerous. I mean, a super intelligence could in theory come up with cures to terminal diseases, create new technology for space exploration, and solve math to prove or disprove things like string theory. However, there is a much more dangerous side to this. Because a super intelligence system could think in ways that humans cannot even begin to comprehend, its goals and motives may involve human extinction. For instance, if a super intelligence system wants to restore environmental balance to the world, it may decide to get rid of the human race. Or maybe it'll decide to go all Thanos on us and wipe out half the population to solve world hunger and the energy crisis. As you can see, when we start to go down this rabbit hole, the potential threat for destruction starts to outweigh the potential for good. And because this system would be so much smarter than us, there's likely no way that it would listen to us. No, it's going to do what it sees as the best for the world, whatever that may entail, because it is smarter and can therefore make objectively better decisions. But what may be a good decision for the super intelligent system may have very bad consequences for humanity. The blog post then goes on to ask the question, how do we ensure AI systems much smarter than humans follow human intent? It addresses this by saying, Currently, we don't have a solution for steering or controlling a potentially super intelligent AI and prevent it from going rogue. Our current techniques for aligning AI, such as reinforcement learning from human feedback, rely on humans' abilities to supervise AI. But humans won't be able to reliably supervise AI systems much smarter than us, and so our current alignment techniques will not scale to super intelligence. We need new scientific and technical breakthroughs. So. Yeah, as you can kind of hear, not good news right now. OpenAI has literally stated that there is no solution for superintelligence. And not to alarm anyone, 
but we've only got six years until super intelligence will be here. And these guys are the smartest people in the world. So if they don't have a solution, who will? Before we continue with the video, if you are a tech enthusiast, then I'm excited to share that we offer a free weekly tech newsletter. Stay ahead of the tech curve with our carefully curated content featuring the latest tech updates. You can sign up for free by clicking the link in the description below. You'll be all set to receive your weekly dose of tech goodness. That being said, let's go ahead and continue with OpenAI's approach to this. So despite not having a robust solution, the company has at least laid out an approach that may solve this huge problem. The article further states, our goal is to build a roughly human level automated alignment researcher. We can then use vast amounts of compute to scale our efforts and interrelatively align super intelligence. To align the first automated alignment researcher, we need to one, develop a scalable training method, two, validate the resulting model, and three, stress test our entire alignment pipeline. To provide a training signal on tasks that are difficult for humans to evaluate, we can leverage AI systems to assist the evaluation of other AI systems, scalable oversight. In addition, we want to understand and control how our models generalize our oversight to tasks we can't supervise, generalization. To validate the alignment of our systems, we automate search for problematic behavior, robustness, and problematic internals, automated interpretability. Finally, we can test our entire pipeline by deliberately training misaligned models and confirming that our techniques detect the worst kinds of misalignments, adversarial testing. So what the company is essentially trying to do is build an AI system that can reliably supervise super intelligent AI. So they're using AI to supervise AI. A good question for us to ask is, does this sound like a good idea? And actually, it's probably the best option that we have as of right now. As humans, we're simply flawed, and there are plenty of things that we cannot do. So if we're able to leverage the power of AI to curb the effects of a super intelligent system, we may be able to cling on the life as we know it. Maybe. So let's put all this craziness into context. DeepMind, a company run by Google, has created an AI system called AlphaZero. AlphaZero is an AI bot that plays chess. Now, you might be thinking, that has nothing to do with anything I just talked about, but hear me out. By watching how AlphaZero plays chess, we can see how it thinks and analyzes a position. During games, AlphaZero has created new lines that have never been covered in theory, and let's not forget, the game of chess has been documented for centuries. AlphaZero can literally start the day as the worst player on Earth, and by the afternoon, become better than Magnus Carlsen, for those who don't know, the highest ranked chess player. Simply by learning from his own mistakes and developing new strategies, it teaches itself, without rules, without a database, without human input. All this shows is that in real world settings, a super intelligence is going to be able to analyze the board and come up with new strategies for curing cancer, answering quantum physics, and solving world crises. In the same breath, the AI systems will also be able to come up with new computer viruses, new deepfakes, and ways to attack humans that we don't even know about yet because we can simply not comprehend them. Ultimately, we have a very, and I mean very, short window to figure this all out and find a way to prevent superintelligence from taking over humanity as we know it. OpenAI shows the theory behind these concerns, and AlphaZero has shown just how powerful an intelligent AI system can become in reality. We better hope that something changes, because right now, things aren't looking good for Team Humanity. Of course, we'd like to know, what are your thoughts on this entire situation? Are we going to be able to stop super intelligent AI from taking over? Or have we opened up Pandora's box with artificial intelligence to a point that we'll never be able to recover? Let us know down in the comment section below. And of course, we'll see you next time.